Hello and welcome to VR Reviews. Today we're going to be doing the haul for February of this year. Unfortunately, I've been very late on reviews this month. I think I've done like three. So almost nothing that I've gotten this month has been reviewed. But either way, here you can have a quick look at some stuff and I'll try to get more reviews out. I've been very off schedule lately. Anyway, let's get into everything. Starting off with our SH Figure Arts set, we have Hermione, which, which wraps up all of the Harry Potter figures that are out currently. She is pretty acceptable, basically a female version of the other two figures that are already out. I have no real complaints about her. Um, she's certainly something to get if you want to have all of these figures. Then we have Mr. Satan, the most recent Dragon Ball Z SH Figure Art release, and I love him and have been waiting for Satan to come out for ages. So I'm very glad to finally have him. I have no massive complaints, and I can't think of any reason you wouldn't pick him up unless you just have really poor taste in Dragon Ball characters, because Mr. Satan is one of the best Dragon Ball characters. Next up, we have the Revo Geo Scorpion. This is the first figure from this line. Of articulated uh, arthropods so far, I think, is the only thing that they've shown. He is an emperor scorpion, and he is horribly disappointing. His articulation is massively limited. I expected him to have revo joints in, like, all of his segments. And instead, he's got just a few. And he's, like, $80. So don't buy this if you expect it to be posable, because it's really not that good. If you just want a scorpion figure that's expensive... I guess this will do you for that. Next up, we've got a selection of Figmas, starting off with Buffalo Bell, which is an old Figma. She is a mascot for a baseball team. I have never watched a baseball game in my life, but I think she's cute, and I kind of always wanted one, and AmiAmi had a pre-owned one, so I just kind of picked it up. I believe there is also another variant of her available. I probably won't get that, but she is satisfying my desire for having a weird mascot cow lady. Next up is another pre-owned Figma that I got from AmiAmi. It's Aya Kagura from some visual novel that I don't know about. I got her because she's wearing a shirt and I think she's cute and I just wanted it. That's really all there is to it. I think it actually comes with a copy of the visual novel. I'll never play it, but it exists. Next we have Megaman, which is the most recent Konosuba release. I am getting all of these. And uh, she's mostly fine. She has some minor issues, but for the most part, I like her. And if you want to have all of the Konosuba things, she's certainly one of the ones you have to get. Next up, we have the most recent Polynesian release, which is Reimu. She's like a mixture of a Polynesian and a character from some game that I'm not familiar with. But either way, she is a Polynesian in a kimono sort of outfit with weird mechanical designs to it. I dig it. I didn't like her that much at first, but she's grown on me, and I'm happy to have any new Polynesians, basically. So that's all fine by me. Then we have a Pico Nemo outfit, which I'm modeling here on Manase Shizui. Pico Nemo outfits are 112 clothing, and I got this specifically for Shizui. And it just about fits her if you take her tits off, so that's good. And it seems to be a very good quality outfit, as I believe all the Pico Nemo stuff is. So if you have some use for clothing like this, and it is worth getting. It is the black military dress. Next up, we have the one thing that I have actually reviewed this month, the 112 Fison body. And it's just a really cool figure. You can go watch my review on it. It's super poseable. It looks pretty decent. I have some complaints about it, but if it is the kind of thing you would want, it's certainly worth getting. And then I unexpectedly got two 1-6 scale Fison figures. I got Vampirella and Lady Death because a friend of mine was selling them for really cheap, and I was just curious enough to get them. I've also always kind of wanted a Vampirella figure, and they just haven't made any really that are any good except for these, so, you know. Either way, they are both very good quality figures. 1-6 scale stuff is not really my deal, but I'm not against having some if I can get them for a decent price. And these are both perfectly fine things if that's the kind of thing you're into. They're just about as poseable as the one twelfth one is, and I believe they do use older Fison bodies, so maybe the more recent Fison bodies are just as poseable as the one twelfth one is. And lastly, we have a few domestic things. I have Marvel Legends Psylocke, which is one of the last figures I needed from that set. I bought her from Hasbro Pulse whenever that opened up so I could get the free gear, free shipping stuff, and whatever the other bonuses that they announce later will be. But free shipping for a year is perfectly good enough reason for me to buy a figure that I already wanted anyway. She is a Marvel legend, you know what to expect from those. Next is the WWE Elite set of the Undisputed Era. 
a set that I wanted to get for a long time. I was hoping maybe it would get discounted because it's a bit expensive. And it's a ringside exclusive, unfortunately. But I eventually just was willing to pay retail price for it because I'm not going to miss out on getting the Undisputed Era because they are really cool. And lastly, we have a Black Series figure, one of the few that I still needed. It is a Royal Guard. He's one of those guys that stands around the Emperor and does nothing. But I think they look cool and they're red and I wanted one. And it was like maybe about half price, so I just went ahead and got one. He's perfectly fine. It's a Black Series figure. You probably know what those are like if you already care about Black Series figures. And that wraps it up for this month's haul. Hopefully there's some stuff in there that you think is cool. I'll try to get out some reviews of some of the more relevant releases here. Um, if I can manage to find time to do it, because I have not been doing that lately. But, either way, that wraps it up for all this stuff. So until next time, goodbye!